Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're going to talk about spring, baby. Everything about spring, this will be just kind of a fun one. Uh, So if you're in window cleaning or anything, stay tuned, check out the podcast. It's WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, There is six and a half years of content. Lots, lots of content. So go back, watch and listen. It's anywhere podcasts are found. Of course, leave reviews anywhere that you see the podcast too. It always helps for sure. If you're new to window cleaning, what's up? Welcome to the industry. If you're not new to window cleaning, what's up? Welcome back to the show. If you're uh, one of the people who always orders from me, uh, truly, I love you guys. Thank you so, so very much. So anyway, today that's what we're talking about is spring. And you know, I try real hard to kind of have shows that, uh, have bits of information to pull out kind of not fact, or at least what I think is fact, but things to help you look at it differently or maybe open up your mind. Sometimes I can help, you know, sometimes uh, feels like uh, exactly what I'm talking about is kind of what you're going through. But today we're talking about spring and there is no science to spring for us. Now, there is a calendrical spring, don't get me wrong, right? So like a certain day on the calendar, it's spring and everybody goes, yay, it's the first day of spring. And I'm from Wisconsin where... (laughs) That wasn't spring. It still uh, was snowing and cold. And I mean, spring in Wisconsin was like, you know, May, May 15th ish. But now in North Carolina, literally like the day after Valentine's Day feels like the start of spring for us. Our flowers are up and trees are blooming and it's going crazy. So spring itself is not real factual for us. So there's like a few things. Everybody goes, okay, well, if I'm supposed to start advertising and pushing things and doing blah, 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 blah in spring, how do I know when spring is? Like, how do I know, right? So we talk about marketing calendar. I've talked about that hundreds of times, probably. Dozens, we'll say at least. But a marketing calendar for me is I lay out everything week by week. And I know that my season, I say, is X amount of weeks and I put it out, but there is no start date to that. So it could be... 15th of April, it could be the 7th of May, it could be wherever that ends up lying is when I start that calendar. So there's no date on the start, but there is a week start, right? So say you have 10 weeks that you want to get your advertising in. It's not 10 weeks, but hypothetically. When I look at that and go, okay, well, I know I have 10 weeks. This is what I want to do. Here's my budget. Here's what I'm going to do each day for those 10 weeks. I have to wait until it's the right time to start that, right? So if I start it on calendrical spring in Wisconsin, I'm advertising for window cleaning and it's still negative temperatures and snow. No one wants window cleaning, right? Nobody nobody wants a burger at six in the morning. Well, some of us maybe do, but not most of us, right? So you can't really sell, hey, you want a pot roast dinner? At six in the morning, people are like, well, I mean, it looks okay, but maybe later, like not now, I'm drinking coffee on my way to work, right? So if you put something out there and it's too early, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to let people know that you exist or get them ready because some people will save your info and all that. But what it does is it burns the initial impact. It burns the initial impact, okay? Let me, let me explain what, what that kind of means to me, is that you have one chance for a first impression. You've all, all, all heard that. If I meet you for the first time, right, we've never met, and I'm like, hey, man, hey, what's up? What, what's going on? And you're like talking, and you're like, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. You're like, this dude is a jerk. I will forever be a jerk, Right? But if I meet people, or I meet you for the first time, we're just out hanging out, and I find out you do window cleaning, and I do window cleaning, and I'm like, hey, man, I'm super nice, and I just come across the person I want to be, that's who your image is. That's your first impression. Your first impression stays. It takes a very long time to get over that first impression. It's the same thing in business. I know. 
everybody here thinks that they, um, everybody knows them. And yeah, some people probably do. But 98% of people in your town don't even know you exist. A, most of them maybe aren't even your customer, and B, some of them haven't seen your stuff. They haven't even actually seen it. They may have come across it, but they haven't seen it. I mean, how many times do people start businesses in window cleaning especially, and they're like, dude, I got this area, man. There are no window cleaners here. I never see anybody. Sweet, man. I hope that it's true, but it's not, right? It's just that you don't notice it. You buy a red pickup truck because you're like, dude, this is awesome. You get a red pickup truck and all of a sudden everything you see is red pickup trucks. People see what and when it's ready to see. So you don't want to miss the first impression, right? So how do we know when spring is here? Because that's when everything kind of starts. And I'll tell you, the first warning is a stumble start. And a stumble, stumble start in every year happens. It's this thing where it's like, oh, there's like this little perk. Like, oh, it's supposed to be nice for the next couple days. Like, uh, people are calling all of a sudden. You're like, yeah. And then all of a sudden it goes back. You're like, oh, man, that spring just, man, it just died. I don't know what's going on. Every year, every year, as long as I've been doing this, there's a stumble start. We're like, dude, it is spring. And you're like, it's a little early, but it's spring. And then all of a sudden it dies down. So we can't watch for that stumble start. That first like full start is not really, it's people getting excited, that's awesome. It's not really spring. Spring comes once it's like sticking around. And yeah, some springs are worse than others. Last year, if you were in business last year, tell me, by the way, if you're in this and you're watching this on uh, YouTube or you wanna comment, go to WCR uh, or windowcleaner.com, window cleaner resources, Facebook and, or. Jeez Louise, YouTube, and this video is there. That's where we can put comments, but I'd love to know when your spring started, but spring was really delayed last year, and it was an incredibly wet and delayed spring. So for a lot of people, the summer was incredible. June was better than anything they've ever done when June starts to usually slop down. July was better than any... So it all matters on everybody. And the interesting thing about spring, by the way, if we could figure this out, I mean, this is just us hanging out talking, hopefully come into some understanding with spring, but man, if we could figure out when spring was, like really when it was, we'd all be filthy rich because that's what we live for. That's what we live on. That's what we start things and do. And man, spring is it, but we don't, all we can do is kind of research the understanding kind of of what makes spring and how people get together kind of subliminally and, and do that. And I have a really interesting thing, by the way, you notice if you've done this for a while, if you haven't, listen, I know, you know, uh, you're just soaking it all in right now, but this is an incredibly interesting, still to this day, I've been in the industry for like almost 20 years probably. And I just, this is so interesting to me, but it's that when spring happens, you go literally from one day, you'll have two calls, three calls, five calls. And the next day you have like 37 calls. Now, the interesting thing is, we go, yeah, well, you know, the weather's nice. Yeah, okay, I get that. But how did all of those 37 people, and if you're getting 37 calls, every one of those companies around you is getting somewhere kind of close to that. So think about the numbers. If you're getting that many calls, all of a sudden in one day, those people did not talk to each other. Something subliminal in the barometer, in the... Um, temperature in the whatever it hits everybody it hits people all at the same time it's incredibly interesting because you'll have a day where oh man it was like 70 today you have a couple calls and all of a sudden two weeks later it's like 60 65 and everybody calls something triggers this there's probably lots of factors i wish we could figure it out like i said we'd all be living in our oceanside mansions if we did. But there is something that everybody gets on the same page. And it is not just weather. There's lots of factors, right? It was literally not just weather. It's like sun and it's this and it's whatever. But it's interesting. The stumble start, also something about that is the same where something happens, but it's a very short something, but everybody kind of feels it. Very, very interesting. Uh, I wish we could kind of you know, understand that.
But for your business, one big piece that you can kind of see if we're in actual spring on top of everything is sure, the phone is ringing just in general. But listen to the calls. And you've probably not really looked at this too terribly close before, but there are repeat customer calls and there are new customer calls. And yes, there are times when both are very heavy, but there are times that one is way heavier than the other. Think about that. I mean, this is just you and me talking now, but think about that where you're just like, man, today I just, everybody that called me was like repeat people. I want to get back on your schedule. Hey, I'm just calling to book my, hey, um, if you're doing the dentist clothes, you have less of those than normal. Obviously, that's awesome. Uh, If you are not doing the dentist clothes, please make that your 2024. Like if you do one thing in 2024, do that. But it's interesting to me. And it tells you something. Repeat customers are deeper into spring than normal. I get some people like, hey, I know it's coming up. I want to get on your calendar. Blah, blah. But for the most part, you get first and new time customers before you get the repeat customers. And I don't really know why that is. They think about it differently. Maybe a uh, new customer is more excited to kind of just get it done and over with. A repeat customer. It's very interesting. But look at it next time when you're getting calls and you're tracking who's calling for that day, which I hope you're tracking. It's the only way you're going to know what's coming in and what's making sense and where your advertising dollars is all that stuff so definitely track where they're coming from but track it sometime if you guys know any of these answers or something you can contribute it to let me know because i would love to have the conversation i always love kind of the insight on the industry a little bit more but there's a big difference between new calls and repeat customers there's days That it feels like every single call, you'll get 50 calls in a day, well, depending on the size you are, right? But we get, you know, 50 calls a day, calls stumbling on top of each other, all of new customers. There'd be like one person to maybe call that had service with us before. There'd be other days where you get 10 of them are referrals, or other days none of them mention anybody. But they all kind of cluster together. There, there's some kind of psyche that goes in with, with spring and what triggers people to buy this stuff, right? Everybody thinks before they're in the industry, it's the need. Oh, when you look at your windows, they look dirty, call us. But it's not really that because everybody's windows don't look dirty the same day. But yet everybody seems to call the same day. It's super interesting to me. I, I wish I could kind of figure it out. I like getting the new calls. Because to me, that feels like the the beginning of spring. We start getting a lot of repeat calls or a lot of referral calls. I feel like that's like the meat of spring. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'd love to know. By the way, I'm just a dude who sits here in front of a camera. And uh, shameless plug, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. And that's how I make money. So if you want to be absolutely amazing, and I know you already are, let me put your orders in. Big, small, it just doesn't matter. I wanted to be your guy. Like, literally, you can save your cart and be like, yo, Jersey, it's in my cart, man. That's it. I could put it in. It's really uh, pretty uh, pretty awesome uh, that there's so many of you out there that do that for me. Um, so thank you. But my number is 862-312-2026. If you're listening to this now, I'm going to say it again. Take it down. Write it down. You're like, you know what? I'm finally going to give my order to Jersey. It's 862-312-2026. Let me put your orders in. That would be phenomenal. It's how I do what I do. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love everybody who does let me do that. Um, And also, if you haven't yet, get a subscription to the American Window Cleaner Magazine. It's awcmag.com. AmericanWindowCleanerMag.com. And get a subscription. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. It would be amazing. I want every window cleaner, I want every window cleaner to, to be as knowledgeable. Even if some of the stuff, you know, we, we nerd out and we're like, ah, I knew that. Of course you did. But every piece of info that anybody's telling you is just another piece towards you knowing and solidifying and changing and opening your mind to thinking what's best. And there's so many things that you could do. The magazine does that. The podcast does that. It just, if you're doing that stuff, your competition isn't. That instantly makes you better than your competition. Just because you're you're just more involved, right? 
So go do that. Shameless plug done. I want to give a couple shout outs to a few people that use me and are absolutely amazing, by the way. Uh, Keith Earls. What's up, man? Uh, he's an OG. He's been uh, putting orders in with me forever. So thank you, man. Uh, DJ Stitchcomb. What's going on, man? Uh, and Isaac Lopez, another of the OGs who just like every order, instead of like hitting submit order, they just click save cart and be like, yo, it's in my cart. Hit me up. Do it. It's amazing. Thank you. Anyway. Okay. As I hit the computer here, shameless plug over, um, back to kind of spring. Now, in North Carolina and in Wisconsin, there's a piece of the puzzle that I think is somehow kind of connected. Now, in North Carolina or Wisconsin, tulips and daffodils kind of come up way early. And it's like, hey, I can kind of see, but yet it doesn't quite get it. So I don't know that flowers do it as much as leaves do it. Buds all of a sudden turn to leaves on trees, and I feel like that is more of a factor. But as soon as it starts to look like spring, or look like we're getting into spring, I have to think that that triggers something in people. Like, think about winter. Depending on where you are, winters are just gray. They're just like Wisconsin, the sun goes away in November and comes back in like April. Like, it's so interestingly gloomy that as soon as sun starts popping up it's like that could trigger it right and then that triggers the leaves and the leaves trigger my brain but in north carolina it's sunny all the time i mean yeah we get some rain but like we have blue skies decent days all year round not to us we get cold but you know so it's not necessarily always connected to that so flowers leaves grass the sound of mowers. These are things that you don't really think are kind of everything that contribute to it, but think of that. I haven't heard an actual mower in a while. I haven't heard a bird chirp. Well, I have now. They just started coming back through. But all of a sudden, like one day you're like, is that a bird? Oh, there's birds. Interesting fact about North Carolina, by the way. Uh, robins are a bird that migrates. I didn't even think about that before. And they all come here first. All of a sudden, one day, you know, like the adage is like, ooh, if there's a robin in your yard, it's spring. All of a sudden, there's like 30 robins, like in a flock. And you're like, what the heck? They migrate. Anyway, the sound of a bird. The sound of a lawnmower. If you're in the south, yeah, they mow throughout the winter. And that's just because if weeds or something, you know, some people still have it. But you don't smell grass. You hear mower, but you don't smell grass. Maybe it's the smell of grass. It's something that we don't really know that triggers everybody to call it once. And that's the interesting part. It's trying to piece this all together and find out when that really, really starts. Flowers, leaves, grass, mowing, birds, weird, weird stuff. You didn't really think went into play with it. But there's another one that really signifies the start of fall really signifies other times of year and it's school. And you're like, well, my customers don't go to school. I know. But tell me if I'm wrong. Your window cleaning company, please tell me if I'm wrong. Your window cleaning company has a dip. From spring, it dips in the summer and then pops back up in fall. Now, hypothetically, that doesn't make sense because in fall people get their stuff cleaned before winter when they don't care about their windows anyway what it is is it's a trigger when the students start going back to school all of a sudden it triggers in their brain it's fall football chilly cold leaves falling school that all kind of comes back it's the same thing in spring it's like okay well if they're in their new spring semester that happens after um uh December, basically, they're in that. But then what part of school ends up happening to signify spring? Then it's all of a sudden you start talking about graduations, you start talking about, you know, spring dances and that type of stuff, right? Does it tether to school in spring? I know it tethers to school in fall. Everybody's on summer vacation. Here in the U.S., I mean, we don't get Two weeks is like, whoa, man, you took it this year. I know guys 
in other countries they're like yeah i'm gonna be gone for five weeks this time but uh but i'll be back that's just you know i'm just gonna take a little break i couldn't imagine so if everybody's gone or doing things where they're outside or they're active in summer, they're not really looking at their windows. All of a sudden, fall comes back. They're not outside as much. They start to notice their windows, and then they call us. So in spring, you're in the house all the time. You think you would notice it, but the trigger ends up being not that they're outside and then they notice it. It's that if I get it done, it's going to be that way for a while. People don't usually get windows done in the winter. For all of you who are slow uh, and it's your first year in business, you found that out. But winter is always the worst time for most of the areas in the country. And the reason is, is because they feel like, and this is even in North Carolina where we don't really get snow. We don't have snowbirds per se, but we don't get snow. So we're kind of on that one where it's like, eh, it's winter, but yet we don't have the, like snowbirds create their own industry in an off season. But the interesting thing is we don't have snow, but people don't get their windows done as much. So it's like, okay, when they do get their windows done, they want to think it's going to last a long time, right? So if I see no, like I got seven days of sun and the temperature just keeps going up. Maybe now my brain's like, okay, it's okay to get my windows done now. If I got seven days of sun in the winter, but it's still winter, it's like, well, it's still winter. So, right. Is it that, or is it now in the spring, I can start to see flowers like we talked about leaves, buds. Now I want to look out the windows. I have something to look at. I want that clean. And yeah, before you say it, it is a combination of a lot of things. I know that. But for everybody to be triggered on one day has to be something. It has to be something bigger. Okay. And I am, this is going to shock you. <laughs> not going to shock you. Uh, I am not a scientist and uh, I have um, an average size brain and I am not any smarter than anybody. I just happen to sit here and have the patience to talk to myself for 30 minutes every week. But what if it has something to do with the barometric pressure? I mean, it could, if it hits everybody at one time, it could have something to do with that. There's a lot of weird elements without getting kind of weird too crunchy granola. There's a lot of weird elements that just happen, but happen to us, right? Like if you don't think you're like, yeah, this guy's full of, think about this. The moon technically controls tides to some degree, right? It's, there's a pole and it kind of elongates the earth and no, the earth's not flat, but it's not a perfect sphere. The centers are wider as the rotation happens. You're like, we've seen that. And yet forever people say, well, people get kind of crazy on a full moon and you go, ha ha ha, that's a wives tale. But our water or our bodies are like 70% water, right? If the moon dictates the tides, then wouldn't that dictate us if we're 70% water? Maybe there's some truth to that. Now, I don't care what, you know, if you're Gemini or Cancer, I kind of could care less. I don't think the time when you're born really matters necessarily. But maybe there's pressure changes. Maybe there's humidity levels. Maybe there's pollen levels, right? There's a lot of pieces to this spring puzzle that we just don't really know when we're adding up. I mean... If somebody had the millions of dollars to put into studying it, they probably could come up with a bit of an idea, but I don't. Speaking of not having a million dollars, if you need an order, call me. I'll put it in for you. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I don't have a million dollars to study this. And uh, Chris with windowcleaner.com, a window cleaning resource, loves numbers, but uh, does not uh, have any scientists on, uh, on, on deck at the, the main location. So it's just a really odd idea that something that we don't even know could be controlling people's buying. So all we can do is keep an eye out for the change, but be ready. And this just comes back full circle to having that calendar ready, that marketing calendar. Like when I'm recording, this is still February. I mean, you'll, uh, I lied. It's not, it's actually... March when this is airing. Anyway, it's still like pre-pre-spring. You got time. 
But building out a marketing calendar takes so stinking long. Okay, we're take 10% of gross last year. You did 200,000, your budget this year is 20,000 for ads. If that doesn't make sense to you and you don't have that kind of money to do, you've done something wrong. Your margins are way too high and you're not charging enough. But take that 10%, now you got $20,000, hypothetically. I wanna take $20,000 and spend that in ads and my season goes from, ballpark, looking at historical data, it goes from May till November. April to November, whatever that is. Break that into weeks. I know the week of the 4th of July, I'm not doing anything. Like maybe afterwards or whatever, but some of you got a lot of push to the 4th of July and then it kind of slows down. You get your dip, you got the back to school, you got whatever. So I figure out how many weeks that is. I break that down and it does not have to be even. This is where it takes some time and money, right? Like in the very beginning, I'm gonna put a lot more to it because my ROI is gonna be way higher. The week after the 4th of July, it's gonna be a lot lower because I don't wanna be doing nothing, but I know that my ROI is not gonna be in there as soon as fall kicks, right? So I'm working this in and I'm looking at my schedule. If you can go through your numbers, find that. Build up that calendar, go, okay, for week one, the big bang when it all happens, man, I'm spending $1,000. I'm spending $2,000 on ads the first week. Okay, we don't know when the first week is. That's all back to, again, when the phone starts calling, you're like, it is spring, it's hit, it's not the stumble start, it's real, let's do it, pull the trigger, start the calendar. I don't know when that happens, but I know that when it does, I know I'm gonna do this on the Monday, I know I'm doing this on Tuesday, I know, I know all of those pieces I'm doing. Now before that, I'm gonna have everything ready. I got my ads maybe made up already for throughout the year, I have my EDDM already printed. If you're not getting your EDDM or new flyers or bid packets or any of that stuff, man, you are running out of time, homie. You got to go and get this stuff printed. Uh, we have print, obviously, print department. But make sure you get all that stuff together. And as soon as that happens, pull the trigger. You know exactly what happens. And now my budget of 20000 because I look at that every day, know what I'm doing, it's going to be spent. The problem ends up happening is when spring hits, it's such chaos for us that a lot of us, a lot of us, I'm too busy, I can't advertise. What? I can't tell people I have a restaurant when they're hungry? What? What? Do not shoot yourself in the foot this year. Do not stop your advertising because you're too busy. That's the absolute worst, that's the worst thing ever. That's like saying, well, I had to pull over and, and slash my tire because it just the trip was going too smoothly. The best ROI you can do is when people want your services. So being ready for that is what all this is doing. We're talking about spring because we need to know when everything happens so that we have our marketing calendar, we can pull the trigger on that when our spring starts. Not at the stumble start, when everybody starts calling. The difference between new calls and repeat calls. Our call list. If you haven't done the dentist closure, you still got people that are not booked. They're people that uh, are not in the calendar every six months already. You're gonna be calling them. Hey, just put together our spring schedule and didn't see you on there. I'd love to know uh, what day work, works best for you. You have to be doing that. That has to be in the schedule. It has to be laid out and it has to be accounted for so you know that you are going to do as much as you can to bring in the business. This is where the growth of a business happens. When you look at a big company, I always joke about like talking about Coca-Cola, McDonald's and stuff. It's just, they're such big companies that they run things in a different way. Yeah, there's bureaucracies and things like that. Lots of departments, but I guarantee you, they know exactly what's happening the entire year of 2024. It's laid out. This is where you get a marketing budget when I say marketing, by the way, marketing is passive, right? SEO is just a cost. Do SEO, it is the best thing you will ever do for your company. Get a good SEO company, that is something you'll do every month forever. That's marketing. But advertising is when you go out there and pay to connect directly to somebody. And it has to, re it has to yield, it has to come back to you. Knowing when it is spring and seeing those signs and you having a marketing calendar, it is gonna be a huge year for you. It's going to be a freaking huge year. 
And I hope to be part of that. So again, I'm a wrap for windowcleaner.com. And if you need any type of uh, orders, please let me know. It's a high five of awesomeness. Let me know. I'll throw you in a limited edition cool kids sticker. And if you have questions, that's literally what I hear, I'm here for. That's what I do every single day is answer questions for people, help. Text me anytime, 862-312-2026. Let me put your orders in. I want all of them. It's always sad when I see somebody who I've worked with for a while put in their own order. I'm like, no, <gasps> let me do it. But anyway, that's a shameless plug there. And go check out the American Window Clear magazine. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, it's awcmag.com forward slash sub. Get it. Got some really cool things coming in the magazine, by the way. So if you're not subscribed, go get a subscription, get the stickers, get the magazine, get all that stuff, and uh, keep an eye out for spring. So hopefully, this may be, uh, was at least a fun one. I don't know if we learned anything, but it opened our eyes to what could be spring. Let me know. Start a conversation. Talk to me. Share this. Review it. Tell the world it's pretty cool. And uh, more importantly, until next week, go out there and be epic.